Hi, I'm David Levin, and this is another landmark episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes TV stories you wouldn't have known from the people who were there. Today, part three of my conversation with Jack Larson and Noel Neal, TV's Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane. Both passed away in the past few years, so I'm happy to bring this to you now. In this segment, the two talk about why they all wore the same costume every single week. They all had three copies of the same outfits. They talk about the final episode, All That Glitters, when Jimmy and Lois finally became super. And they tell us about the crazy economics of shooting a weekly TV series. And Jimmy Olsen gets washed up. You told me a very funny story, and perhaps you could both tell me together, mm-hmm. um, which was related to why the, why everyone, not just Superman, Superman always wore the same costume, but all his friends always wore the same costumes too. You want to tell me about that? Well, I had three copies of my suit that I wore. Well, it was a matter of economics. If anything happened during the day and something tore or whatever, doing the stunts or the, whatever we did, uh, get another one. Strip girl wouldn't have to uh, keep track of uh, what you wore. Or what, so they had, I had three copies of my suit. That's why Mr. Ellsworth called me the last one. And he said, we've got 26 more scripts from New York and uh, we're gonna start in September. I said, great, fine. And, um, he said, come by and see if you can fit any of your suits. So he found them, but I didn't. But I, that's why we all had them. Of course, we wore them when we did our flying act. Yes, we did. <laughs> but it, 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 yes, it did. made uh, production easier to mm-hmm. always have us in the same clothes. Right. And at one time, mm-hmm. uh, because the timing of films, time it takes to shoot something, is basically involved with lighting. It's not involved with the actors if they know their lines or rehearsal, mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately. <laughs> you should rehearse a lot. And everybody used to get mad at me on Superman because <laughs> I would rehearse. I was always rehearsing. And then you'd forget our lines while you're talking. Yeah, what in, what in the <laughs> hell is he doing? He's rehearsing. I wanted to do good. He and I'm very glad I did good and rehearsed well. <laughs> he used to drive George crazy. Jesus. Right. <laughs> He's run, the kid's running the lines Why again. Now I've you forgotten know, that. Never stale was the thing. But the, the, the process that takes the time is in lighting still. And so they, in the... 53 shows, mm-hmm. this was in 53, mm-hmm. they, devel- <laughs> they developed a technique, they thought, to shoot five shows at the time, at a time, five different scripts mm-hmm. in the same uh, uh, environment. Right, and yeah. so they would bring in these villains, so they didn't have to make moves. Mm-hmm. And so we would, of course, it was easy to shoot the scenes in Perry White's office or right. in mm-hmm. George's office or, mm-hmm. or or wherever the hallways, but they tried to do things. They shot all five shows, the close-ups, mm-hmm. the same thing without a move, right, uh, the, uh, the group shots, the gang Family, as we called yeah, them, right. uh, everything, and on five different plots and five different shows with all these different villains. Well, well. <laughs> this wow. was an interesting idea to save money, but we were really <laughs> confused, and they only tried that on these five <laughs> shows at that time. Nobody knew where we were or what or villain. what our action was, whether we were happy, crying, or this or that. <laughs> what, what, are doing? Doing? what are we doing? <laughs> and so we yeah, did we, it on those five shows. Yeah. I, don't, I can't tell you which five shows. They obviously could edit them because yeah. Harry Gerstad was our editor who was incidentally an Academy Award editor. He edited mm-hmm. High Noon. And, uh, and things. We had really great people working oh, for us, which was one of the pleasures of doing the show. But um, they never tried that again, <laughs> but it was hysterical. But they always kept us in the same clothes. Yeah. Now you all, you had two different out two two or three different versions of each outfit. Oh, the very same, same thing. Same and version. in my case, it was because uh, I had three versions. I didn't know you had three because <laughs> you didn't get as wet as I did. I know. I was thinking of you. But was. Jimmy, uh, who was often endangered, and Superman would save him, they decided that the great way to endanger Jimmy's life was through water, <laughs> and they thought up endless. Uh, 
endless <laughs> things. Stories. There would be a cave with the tide coming in, yeah. and Jimmy's locked in this locked in this cave, and the water slowly <laughs> rises right, the, yeah. the cave, and then and there's bars, and then uh, George would come in and, and pick up wet Jimmy, Jimmy. and so <laughs> as time went on, I was sick a lot because the water's cold, cold, the sound stages are cold, and you catch a cold. Mm -hmm. And so uh, originally, like the first season, I was a sport, and then finally they had, <laughs> they had poor, this great actor, Sterling Holloway, oh, and a girlfriend of mine, Aline Roberts and I, locked into some kind of a closet that was lead line, and Jimmy gets the idea of trying to attract the fire department by setting uh, <laughs> the, the, the uh, water, uh, SOS. yeah, whatever, <laughs> the sprinkler, yeah. by digging a match, and and Sterling Holloway, who I mean, he was a great actor for Ernst Lubitsch. Mm -hmm. I stand on his shoulders as Jimmy, and I light put this match and this thing. Now the water starts coming. Well, it starts to rise slowly. It rises on Sterling Holloway, <laughs> Lynn Roberts, and me. And with that, I told him, I said, listen, this is, this is fun's fun, <laughs> but a guy can't laugh himself to death. Just can't I be dry and in danger? <laughs> Will you stop getting me wet? So they just tied us up. <laughs> and once we were all three supposed to be wet right. on mm -hmm. on the thing with the pirates or something oh, right. and you go over yeah. and I point yeah. blank refused. Used, you right, went yeah. into the water with George. Oh, yeah, at the very end. Oh, you right, went into yeah. the water and I said I'm going to watch him but I'm just <laughs> over one cold and I'm not going <laughs> into this one. And the water's always dirty. It's <laughs> dirty and it's cold. cold yeah. uh, Bacteria. That's it for now. Next time we'll continue with part four of seven when Jimmy Olsen and Jack Larson talk about their favorite trap. Noel talks about appearing in the Kirk Allen serials of the 1940s and what it was like for her when she took over for Phyllis Coates on the Superman series as Lois Lane. Till then, what was your favorite superhero cliffhanger? Let me know in the comments and I'll feature the best of them in a future episode. See you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey, want to talk to celebrities yourself? Become a Patreon subscriber and then tune in to Ask Them Yourself. <laughs>